Welcome to part two of my video about my TRS-80 MC-10 computer. If you haven't seen part one yet, I'll put a link up in the corner of the screen here so you can check it out. In part one, I showed you that this particular unit has had a 4K upgrade, giving it a total of 8K of RAM, which sounds great, but unfortunately, whenever you plug a 16K expansion pack into it, it causes all kinds of interference when you try to use larger programs. So today we're going to open this machine up. We're going to take a look and see what all was done to it to give it that upgrade. All right, let's get started. Now I'm ready to take this apart. These are not terribly hard machines to take apart. Uh, I've looked at it already and uh, haven't taken this apart yet, but somebody has, you can see. There's just four screws on the back. So let's get taking it apart. it looks like there are two ribbon cables connecting the keyboard to the motherboard so and they look oh they're clipped in so there we go so there is oh, come on there's one and two. So there we go. So you got the keyboard on the top with two ribbon cables and the motherboard. Yeah, and the thing I said about it being obvious that somebody's been into it, well, since these didn't never came with an 8K memory uh, from the factory, obviously somebody's modified it. Okay. Well, just going to change the camera angle here so you can see this. And this is what the board looks like now. As you can see, there are jumper wires going everywhere. And there are one, two, three, four, five chips that are piggybacked onto other chips. And obviously this has been uh, redone. And uh, any pictures I've ever seen of the motherboards of these uh, computers never uh, looked like this. There was never all this wiring and everything. So I'm going to do a little research looking at what chips should be here and what chips are. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing, obviously this board is very clean. So it doesn't need anything done to it on that side so I don't have to do anything there obviously somebody either cleaned it before they sold it to me or took exceptionally good care of it now I looked up the chips and the ones that are piggybacked are right here they are the driver chips this one right here is the inverter chip and these two are the static RAM chips. And this here is the ROM chip, which is uh, an original number on it. And the reason that it looked strange to me was the fact that if you look at it, it's actually 
placed in two different sockets stacked on top of each other. Now if you look back here, you can see the ROM chip is in two stacked sockets. So there's the lower socket, upper socket, then the ROM chip. And here we have the two RAM chips. Now these are both uh, similar chips to the ones, the original ones, so I'm assuming the ones that are below them. They're both 2K 8-bit chips. So the 2K and then the and 2K plus the 2K and 2K below it would be the 8K. And as you can see, there's a couple of wires here. Here, one attaching to each chip, the upper and the lower. And they run back to the driver chips. And here is a up close picture of the RAM chips piggybacked. Now here on the inverter chip you can see that most of the pins actually all of the pins it looks like are connected to the chip below it but there are also a number of wires running some of them to the uh, driver chips. Now here on the driver chips the numbers are similar, they're in the same line as the uh, chips that are below them, I'm assuming that are below them, that the, those are the originals. But you can see that most of the legs are not connected. However, there are a number of wires, jumper wires, coming off of a lot of the pins going to other chips on the board. And here's the look a look at the driver chips from the side so you can see the pins here are not connected to the chip below them. Alright so I will try to follow some of this wiring as best I can. So from these from this driver chip You've got uh, four wires from this side coming down to the RAM chips. You've got a wire going to the inverter. A wire over here going to the other driver chip. Now off of this chip you've got one wire going to the inverter and one wire coming right down here uh, where's that one go and connects to the board down here now off the inverter chip you've got one wire here the yellow one that uh, loops around and connects to the bottom chip you've got a wire that runs over here down to the decoder chip. So this here is the decoder chip. You've got a wire here running over to that is the MCU. Now we've also got a wire on this driver chip that runs over here and connects down here to this chip which is the VDG. So for now I'm just going to show you what a few of the other chips are on the board here. So up here you've got the voltage regulator. Down below that you've got a D-type flip-flop chip. Below that is a JK-type flip-flop chip. Of course, as I said, the, these are the RAM chips. Beside that is the transceiver. And then the buffer. As I said, this is the MCU. 
and this is the decoder. Above that is the OR gate. Then up here, this little guy is an OP amp. And beside that is another D-type flip-flop circuit. Then up here, we have the comparator. And over here is the D-latch. Then as I said, these two are the drivers. And this here is the VDG chip. And then, uh, as I said, this is the inverter. And this is the ROM chip. It's time to put this computer back together. And there we go. It's back together. Now I guess there's nothing to do but plug it in and make sure it still works. I've got everything back together. Just running a small program to see that everything is still working. And it all appears to be. All right, so we've taken a look at the computer, we've put it back together, seen that it's still working. I have had some great comments from my first video with people giving great suggestions about maybe taking the 4K of expansion out of the computer to uh, revert it back to the original 4K and then the 16K expansion pack would work fine with it. But I think I like this computer better this way as a bit of an anomaly. I haven't heard of very many of these, these things ever being done on the internet. So I think probably I'm going to keep this. Another great su suggestion that I've had is to take apart the expansion pack and disable the first 4K of the 16K of memory because the interference is likely coming from the uh, two for the overlapping uh, memory interfering with each other, which is also a great idea. But at this point, I don't think I want to mess with this expansion pack. When I get a hold of another one, then um, I'll probably do that. But for now, I want to have one that's in original working condition, but it's definitely a project I'm going to look at doing in the future. But for now, I think I'm just going to leave this computer as an anomaly. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, look at this computer. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, comment below about what you thought of the video. If you didn't like it, you can give me a thumbs down. All right, I'll see you next time. And also a quick shout out to my invaluable assistant, my cat, Shadow, who has been watching me film the whole time and has not jumped up onto the circuit board in the middle of it all.